Hello everybody out on YouTube, this is Michael, the Geek for Life, with another unboxing for January 2016, and this one is a little bit bittersweet. It is a Super Geek box, but it is actually my last Super Geek box for a while. I originally bought a six-month subscription, and wouldn't you know it, this is the sixth month. So, uh, not a bad box. Uh, I've thought about renewing it, but of course right now I'm really just downgrading my subscription boxes while I take care of something else, but... I feel pretty confident you'll see this one on the channel again. But, all that aside, we do have this last one to open. So let's go ahead and jump to it. I forgot the theme. I don't know what the theme is. But I will find out, and it's probably in the description of the video. So you already know. The first item is a Dorbs. I need to get this out of the way. And it's a Captain America Dorbs. And I've got a couple Dorbs so far. I'm not super thrilled with them. Uh, I like Pops better, but these are still pretty cool. I think they go for about 8 or $9. So that's nice. Not a rare or an exclusive or anything. And let's see. Next item are these. I actually have all of these already, or at least all the ones I want. The only one I don't have, I'll show you in the back. It's Bane. That's the only one I don't have, but that's the one I really wasn't trying to get anyway. So that's what I have of these. These run actually about $5, at least at Hot Topic they do. And let's open this thing up and see which one I got. And it is one of the two Batmans. Oops. And it's this Batman. There's two possible Batmans you can get. This is the cooler one. So at least there's that. That's pretty cool. And what are these? I don't think these things actually have a name. Just uh, DC Comics Original Minis. Uh, who makes them? Blip Toys. B-L-I-P Toys. So about $5 for that. Let's see. We have the shirt. Oop. I'll figure it out. So it looks like a Street Fighter shirt with Rosie, sort of like that Rosie the Riveter theme. That's not, It's an okay shirt. I never actually played Street, Street Fighter. So for me, it's kind of like, you know, I probably wouldn't wear it. But, I mean, it's a nice shirt. What kind of shirt is this? Hold on. This is, it feels soft. Is it a Toltex? It's a Toltex, so it's one of the better branded shirts. So... It's still a good quality shirt, even if the, the picture, the design on it isn't something I personally like. Uh, $12 value for the shirt is standard. So let's see, we're up to $26 for the box as far as value. And next we have a keychain. Perks of being in second place from the Mario Brothers. It's actually a pretty good quality keychain. It's one of those flexible rubber keychains. That's pretty nice. Uh, probably about $4, what that's worth. Oop. And it doesn't actually say Mario on it or anything. It just says Blue Shell Keychain, I guess, to get around the licensing. So since they got around the licensing, they probably did lose a dollar or two off the value. But, oh well. And what else is here? A little print folded basically the same design as on the shirt uh, I only give about a dollar value for that and honestly it's probably a little bit generous it's probably only a few cents but I'll go ahead and up it to a dollar so I don't have to deal with any pennies and what is this looks like a Wonder Woman temporary tattoo That's pretty much all that is, just a Wonder Woman. I'm just going to combine it with the poster, and I'll just make them both a buck. And what is the theme? I got the button. It's Versus, which I did not get. Let me see that. I did not catch that from these items. Uh, so that's... I'm going to put that away there. And open the little thing here. All right, it looks like there were a few different things you could get. Um... The Dorbs, first off, I got the Captain America, but it looks like Iron Man was also possible. Um, 
this little figure. It looks like it actually could have been either Superman or Batman. I don't think there was necessarily any variety to that. And it looks like the shirts, you could have got one of two possibles. Let's see if I can get that. It looks like the only thing different is that the, the shirt on the, uh, the Street Fighter guy is white in one and black in the other. So not too much variation there. All right, so value for the crate is, let's see here, 26, about $31. So you got about double the value, which is pretty standard for us, um, a super geek box. Um, I wasn't really blown away by this last one. Um, not too many of the items in here I really liked. Really just an average box. I almost feel like it was a little below average because the tattoo and the poster weren't that great. The shirt wasn't really blowing me away. Uh, the Dorbs was just um, you just a generic average one. Not like I was really expecting an exclusive because Super Geek Box really doesn't have exclusives. But really, I'm just feeling very underwhelmed by this box, so I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5, a below average rating. And that's really unfortunate that it's leaving the channel, at least temporarily, on such a low rating, but it is what it is. Um, you know, there's not, uh, you know, if I had built the box, maybe different. Probably not. Uh, now, I have been adding something different to the, um, the subscription boxes, which is resale value. And um, it's just like, if you didn't like the items in the box, you know, what are the odds that you could sell them and recoup your money? Uh, for this box, mm, I'm going to give it an average resale value. Uh, these really don't resale for very much. This little Batman here, you know, like five bucks in the store, but nobody even really knows what to call them, so they're hard, very hard to find online, but even when you do, they're very cheap, uh, especially out of the package. Dorbs don't really have very high resale value, but you probably could resell it eventually. Um, whether or not you get full value for it, I don't know, but you probably could. The shirts actually have de decent resale value, and that by itself, if you can sell the shirt for like 12 or $14, you've recouped most of the value of the box. So that's why I'm giving it an average rating. Uh, the temporary tattoo and the poster, you'd never be able to resell those, not realistically. The keychain, you could probably sell for a couple dollars, but I don't think it would go for very much. So it actually does have an average resale value. It's not a bad box if you're just buying it with the intention of selling off everything in it for, you know, getting your money back or even a little, you know, a little extra. So, it, you know, a nice average resale value. Um, I guess that'll do it for now. It's uh, Super Geek Box, January 2016. The theme is Versus. Uh, the value is, what did I say it was? 40, was it 41? I think I said it was, no, it was 31. $31. Um, rating 2 out of 5 below average resale value or resale ability is about average. Uh, I guess that'll do it for now. Um, oh, I did want to say something else on a different note from my previous video about Hero Crate and Villain Crate. I've been getting a lot of comments from people. I guess they've been having the same problems I have. Um, I've actually sent two messages so far and haven't received any word from them yet. Um, I'm starting to get a little worried, actually. Um, but I will definitely keep you updated on that as uh, things develop. Hopefully, I will hear something by February 5th, which was their original cutoff date. They had actually they've changed it since then. I guess they're getting a lot of emails from people upset that they um, they don't really seem to be handling this quite right. They didn't send out an email to all of their subscribers explaining this. As far as I can tell, they put out an announcement on Facebook, and they took that page down the next day. An announcement on Twitter, and I think that one went down too. And there's an announcement on their uh, their main page, but really, unless you're actually trying to keep up with them, you know, like you're actually checking on them, you wouldn't know. And that's a problem, and it's it just it doesn't seem like this should be that big a deal, just issuing refunds to people, if that's really the only thing you have left to do before you shut down your company, is to just issue the refunds. But that's just me. I'm owed a good bit of money, actually. Um, I subscribe to the two years of Villain Crate, and they only sent two boxes, so I'm supposed to get most of that back. And then I did a year subscription to Hero Crate, and I think that one was halfway through, so I'm still due back about half of that money. So we're really talking about close to 400. No, no, it's about 350. I think I'm due. I, it doesn't matter. I just hope I get it back. So that was just my little rant for that. Um, anyway, this has been Geek for Life with another unboxing. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Uh, recommend me to friends, hit the like button, and of course comment, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you, and have a good one. Bye-bye.